So the spooky season is upon us. Not October, just life itself. So this Halloween we're going to be diving into a whole bunch of Elder Scrolls and Fallout horror mods. And I can't wait to jump in to see what the beautiful and darling mod community have in store for me. So for tonight's spooky spectacular escapade, we're going to be jumping into a newly released Oblivion horror mod called Into the Void. It presents itself as a psychedelic and surreal psychological horror experience in the Elder Scrolls 4. So it adds a whole new dungeon under Kedlu Chapel and a quest to go along with it. You know Kedlu Chapel, it's that really dilapidated chapel east of Breville. I always thought I had a weird spooky abandoned vibe, so I think this is a fantastic spot to be making a horror mod in. We're gonna jump into it, we're gonna see what it's like, and I'll see you in the mod. Alright, so here we are into the game. I have a freshly made character from the sewers. I made Uriel Septim, but his eyes are a bit wise. He's really surprised he's still alive. Look, I tried. I tried, okay? He's called Suriel Bettem, because I think that's very hilarious. Anyway, anyway, we need to make our way all the way out to the chapel, which I believe is around here off the coast. So we're going to travel to the Bayron Stables in Breville. How can I help? Ah, oh, they're decent. Oh, good for them. I'm excited now to get back into a bit of Oblivion horror, and before we get into the spookiness, the game has a beautiful sunset it's giving us. People give Oblivion a hard time for its visuals, but, I mean, I think it's stunning. I think it still looks good. I think this game still has charm up the ass, like the planets and everything hovering over. I love Oblivion. I love how the water outside Breville is just murky, awful green. I think Oblivion is a great, what's the word, vessel for horror because the game has like a weird eerie vibe it just feels off like the npcs and everything the world's pretty beautiful but this game always had a bit of a creepy side and i think horror mods bring out the best in that and i'm excited to be checking out a new one i think this one is gonna be a banger i actually don't know if this mod has a level requirement i just jumped in at level one um hopefully we're not screwed i just have all the stuff i got from the sewers i don't know if this is a smart idea i've just realized this isn't much preparation at all i think this is really gonna add to the survival horror element there's something chasing after me out some mud crab. Great, how spooky. Happy Halloween, fucker. Oh, there's something still after me. It's probably more mud crabs. How scary. I'm getting diseased by wolves already. I've only just started the game. Speed and agility. Great, while well, I'm loading. All right, so there's the chapel. I can see it on my map. It's right ahead. This place is like so tucked away. Oh, more combat. I don't just run. Just go in. Just go in. Just go in. Just go in. This is going fantastic already. Everyone wants a piece of the champion of Cyrodiil. Are there crabs in real life that will actually attack you? Like, that'll just gun for you, like, if they see you. Not even if you annoy them, they'll just go for you and pinch you if they see you. We're gonna take in our last little bit of tranquility before we go inside and get the spooked scare out of us. All right, into Kadlu. I'm level one. Probably not a good idea. Hi, skeleton. I don't think you were there before. And he's giving off a nice little Halloween eerie glow, as all good skeletons do. I'm gonna go up outside. Ah, look at this. There's another skeleton here. Is he your brother? Probably is. Oh, Oblivion lockpicking. I'm usually very good at Oblivion lockpicking, but the second I hit record, my ability goes down to, like, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So does my sense of humor and talking skills. Hello, Kedlu Guardian. You have a lot of health. You have a shit ton of health. Okay, and you're doing good damage to me. I don't think my shitty steel short sword that does what? Three damage? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna cut it. What about my shaman staff? Do you like lightning? Very frightening. Uh-oh. 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 Let's go outside for a second. I have to get some fresh air. Oh no, I wasted a charge. Oh, I forgot they can follow you in this game. I've been playing too much Morrowind. I forgot they can follow you outside. Uh-oh. This is only the first enemy. Oh, would you look at this? I got a much more powerful sword. I can take him out easily. You'll never guess what I did. I didn't do anything. I didn't change a single thing. I didn't mess with any settings. I was healing the bastard. Bye now. Oh, a dungeon's key. Give me your shield, give me your sword. Good stuff, good stuff. Upgrading, upgrading. Well, the first fight went well. I've entered a seemingly normal chapel. Normal chapel. Did you see the inside? In the Nibine Valley, only to be attacked by the living dead. Blood and rotting corpse litter the chapel floor. What happened here? I don't know, but my character is going to unwillingly investigate. Against his own will. He just wants to sit at home and have a meet. I'm just dragging him around everywhere. He has no free will. He's a video game character. <laughs> Look at his ass pointing towards the air. At least he died with dignity, huh? I'm gonna take your flesh. There's plenty to go around. I love the smell of burning flesh in the morning. Ah, oh, human hearts. That's great. Rejoice, true faith. Your afflictions are banished. Does that mean I could have cured my wolf disease from that affliction? Never mind. Never mind. Let's just go. Let's just into the game. Pearls. Pearls and gold. That's what we have to see. Hello, fella. You having a nap? Do you always sleep with your eyes open? <laughs> Must be tough. Okay. Kedlu Dungeons. Let's see what it's like. 
Here comes the spooks. It's very dark, it's very red. The Oblivion Shiri music is still playing. I don't know if I should leave the Oblivion music on or what. Guide the skin red, I'll read that later. I like skin red. Skin is red. Now this mod also recommended using a torch mod as like a requirement. I'm not used to using this torch mod. It adds like a bunch of fixes and changes to how torches work. Torches are going to be a little bit finicky, I think. But look, I'm going to go by the modder's recommendations. Look at this spooky glow. Hello. Are you Azura? I like your gaunt face. That's nice. I found a dungeon under the chapel. What kind of chapel hides dungeons underneath itself? That's pretty part and parcel for an RPG, to be fair. This dungeon seems to be inhabited, but why is it so quiet? I should search around to see if I find any answers. The champion Asirdo would hate Blackreach. He'd absolutely hate it. Uh, oh, this is nice. This seems really cozy. This is supposed to be spooky? I don't know if it's supposed to be playing like the really creepy crypt music that Oblivion has. This place looks nice. I'd live here. Who gives a shit if it's haunted? Free gaff. This lock cannot be picked, you need a key. Manual of spellcraft. Old wooden door, they're always old, aren't they? Look at this. This is cozy out. Loads of alchemy stuff, I'm taking this. By the way, if I find any more Oblivion horror mods, I think I'm going to keep this character so we can have a character that's a bit leveled after playing a bunch of horror mods. We'll keep Serial Beptum going, I think. Shadow mixture, what is that? Invisibility for 10 seconds and fortify speed, not bad. Living Quarters Key, Dark Eyes' Diary. I found the diary of one of the inhabitants. Maybe it can tell me what happened here. It's 17 pages long? Listen, I like reading, but fuck, 17 pages, I have the microphone on. The first day, I'm eager to start working with Hellier to work with such a knowledgeable and powerful necromancer. It's a true honor. We've set up shop here under this chapel. I think it's called Kedlu. I felt a little bad for the chapel keepers. You killed the chapel keepers? Well, gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelette. The move from Black Marsh went well. Cost me every step that I had to travel here. I had to leave a lot of things behind. Okay, so they've set up shop in this chapel. The atmosphere in here is quite uncomfortable. I can feel that everyone's a bit uncertain. I myself feel very uncertain about this whole thing, but what else should I do? Move to Leowin and get a job as a street sweeper? That'd be a tidy little living. Leowin's not a bad place. Besides the Argonians and the Khajiits fighting. This right here is why I came to Cyrodiil. I don't want everything I sacrificed and all the work I put in to be for nothing. I think everyone else feels the same way. We have nowhere else to go. Helir has been quiet, even more so than usual. He only comes out of his quarters every few days. What's he doing in there? So there's some really weird experiments going on here, and things are going a bit awry. Helir looks sick, his skin has this yellow pasty look to it. His eyes seem glazed over, and he smells bad. Ah, that's normal. Sure, I know. Helir's gone missing. He has not come out of his quarters for two weeks, so we hesitantly decided to check on him. We knocked in his door to call him out. We called for him three times, no answer. So we entered his quarters and he wasn't there. We searched everywhere, even the corpse pit. They have a corpse pit, but he's just gone. So Halir has created his own little dimension. A void within his own mind, which is manifested into physical form and detached from this reality. He aims to achieve lichdom. I don't know what to believe. I've heard of such magic before from stories. Enderin has figured out how Halir teleported himself into his own mind. We're going in after him and we're going to take him down. You're going to travel to his mind dimension? Before he grows too powerful and steals his power for ourselves. It might seem like a suicide mission, but Enderon puts forth some strong points. When Hilir returns to Mundas, he'll be too strong for anyone to stand in his way. I'm leaving my diary behind, as well as the keys to the living quarters. There's a strong possibility we won't return, and I feel compelled to leave some sort of record behind just in case. If you find this book amongst the rubble of a smoke and ruin, at least someone knows what has happened here. So we're gonna have to enter this guy's mind realm and take him out. He's a powerful necromancer, Lich. So that's gonna be fun. I briefly skimmed over the book. There's a lot of pages, but it's really well done writing. I highly recommend giving that a good read. The Legendary Scourge. Is that just a skill book? It's a two-page tome about Oblivion. That's great. I like a nice short read, I do. Very good for the Let's Player's attention span. This mod is known for having pretty good writing, so I do suggest if you're playing it yourself to give everything a good read, because it is good stuff. Heartbreak experiments log. Okay, so here's some records of the experiments going on here. To see if extreme emotional pain before death affects the state of reanimation in any way. So it's a bunch of necromancy. One imperial male, one imperial female who appears to have a romantic relationship. Oh, that's nice. We kidnapped the subjects as they traveled along the road. We caught them by surprise and the abduction went smoothly. We have locked them in the experiments hall in the same cell, but chained to the opposite walls. Experimentation shall begin tomorrow. First stage of experimentation began with physical torture of the female in front of the male. This is awful. <laughs> the cheery Oblivion music is playing while I'm just reading like these really gory details about how this loving couple was tortured in front of their very eyes. Torture was applied using blades and occasionally destruction magic. The male became quite obsessed. I'd imagine so. 
I wouldn't like it either. Everything is going well, I don't like these people. Physical torture, the female continued. This time she was stripped of her clothes beforehand, which angered the male greatly. Her clothes were discarded and she was left naked. I don't know if I like this. Oh, this is getting dark. The will of the female seems broken. Physical torture continued. I periodically took time to tell the male that this was his fault for not being strong enough to help her. He seems to be in great emotional distress. I would say so. He tortured his girlfriend right in front of him. I believe this is enough for the first stage of the experiment. Second stage shall commence tomorrow. Second stage of experiments has begun. I slit the throat of the female and forced the male to watch her bleed out. Well, that escalated pretty quick. I took the time to apply mental torture to the male afterwards. Not sure if it had any effect as he did not respond at all. I left him in the cell with the female's body still chained to the opposite wall. Tomorrow shall begin the third stage. Happy Halloween, everybody. Third stage of experimentation began with the murder of the male. At least he doesn't have to suffer. Soon after, he was reanimated. Well, I take that back. As soon as his corpse awoke, it flew into a fit of rage. This rage seemed to be directed at me, but it did not think twice about harming my colleagues. Nothing could be done to quell its rage, not even illusion magic. It seems the torture inflicted before death caused explosive rage in the corpse. It seemed to remember I was responsible, which we all found very interesting. Do you not know the plot of Daggerfall? Like, the ghost comes back because it was vengeful. The zombies are going to be a bit mad. They're going to be a little bit pissed. Corpse was disposed of in the corpse pit. Experimentation has concluded. Results were interesting, but ultimately unfavorable. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> the lusty Argonian made I love this book. I'm going to take that with me. That's good reading material too, I recommend that highly. Good old Crassius. So apparently you can't like use a sword and a shield at the same time with the torch. Okay, you can do that though. Oh, that's a nice painting. Nice little area. Nice little torture chamber. This is the other torture room. They just made him paint. You're gonna watch Bob Ross all day. That sounds nice. We were too mean to the other fella. We've learned from our ways. I love the design of these rooms. For like an experimentation dungeon, it looks nice. Well, these are the rooms of the necromancers, I imagine. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. There we go. Resistance, personality, flower, liquor, good stuff. Primrose, elf cup, tiger lily. This room is so cozy. There's some recipes. Cure poison. Restore health. Cure disease. Clan fear, claws, and mandrake. Good stuff. Good stuff. I do like the alchemy in Oblivion. It's pretty fun. Even though potions of restore fatigue don't have as much use in Oblivion as they do in Morrowind. Or even Skyrim for that matter. This is really chill to explore. When does it get spooky? Well, even the writing makes it out to be pretty spooky already, so... I'm gonna need those repair hammers. Damage shelt. Lockpick. Quill. Cup. They have meat, they have a nice bed. What more do you need? They have an axe for cotton wood. That's very nice. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> I'm very cultured. T the game is still playing the cheery music. I don't know if I should turn it off. Maybe when we get into like the psychological realm, the music changes. I'm getting loads of alchemy apparatuses. Oh, rotten leg. Oh, that's... <laughs> Oh, that's nice, I can have a fourth leg. You'll never guess what the third leg is. Oh, big fucking Grim Reaper size. Is that a weapon? I don't think it is. It didn't show any weapon. Oh, it didn't show weapon damage. Oh, if that was a weapon, that would have been so cool. The Shiver Niles? Let's do that right now. Let's beat the whole Shiver Niles now. Nah, maybe some other time. When I want to go back to high difficulty level one. Human blood, drain fatigue, resist poison. Interesting. I don't believe that was a potion in regular Oblivion. Necromancer's hood? I'll take that. Halir's notes. Oh, interesting. Fart. Or arse. Fart. Sorrow. <laughs> I just read that as fart. Poison leaves, disease, body, the mind, dome. Oh, is that the Dark Brotherhood symbol? We know. I know, sure. Or the Necromancers, either one. These are spooky. I like them, though. I found in Doran's notes in her room, she seems to think Alir teleported to this void by using a special potion. Her notes guess at the ingredients, it doesn't seem she wrote the full recipe down. If I can figure out all the ingredients, I could probably brew a batch for myself. I would need something to mix the ingredients in, and something to hold the potion itself. I wonder if I can find any of this stuff lying around. I think Alir's notes are actually a list of ingredients. Could this be a teleportation potion? Heart, sorrow, the heart of someone who has felt emotional pain. The heart of the tortured guard, right? Poison leaves, a poisonous plant, nightshade. Nightshade is poisonous. Diseased body, diseased flesh, dead flesh, I have the rotten leg. Mind dome. Hand print, a part of the recipe. I have the hand letter. Two drawings, a glowing stone and a keyhole. A glowing stone? Like a welkin stone? And a keyhole. Heart and sorrow, the heart is someone who has felt emotional pain. I need to go to the corpse piss, I think is what we need to do. Take that with you. And I'm guessing the other notes that I took are going to be useful. Petty Soul Gem. Okay, so we have a bit of a quest set up before us. So, 
Take the rotten leg. The rotten leg, I think, is definitely one of the ingredients. I don't think we brewed a potion with, like, the mortar and pestle and all this. There might be a specific room for it. Quill. Hand experiment log. The sea of severed body parts can still be magically linked to their bodies after death and subsequent reanimation. Dead chapel workers of all races, they've been stripped of skin and placed inside the experiment hall. I don't like the sound of this. First subject reanimated was a Bosmer female. She seemed to recognize the absence of her hands and proceeded to search for them. She did not find them. That's crude. She just searched for her missing hands. Looking for him with stubs. The second subject reanimated was an imperial male. This time I cut off the hands after he was reanimated and placed them out of his reach. Hands seem to twitch a bit, then die. It's like the Adam family hand. <laughs> it's just running around here. Weakness. Potion of Karma Chameleon. They come and go. They come and go. I got better gauntlets there. I'll equip the leather. Good stuff. I think we've explored much of this room. There must be other rooms and stuff I haven't gone into yet. We also have to find where we can brew that potion. Nightshade. There's the ingredient. That's definitely the poisonous plant, right? Okay, been in this direction. There's been more rooms around here I didn't find. So we've the rotten leg, we have the nightshade. I need the heart of the guard who had his girlfriend tortured in front of his eyes. Unless his zombie form is still alive. He did say the zombie was aggressive, so maybe he took him down. All right. Night cheery oblivion music. Oh, the experiments hall. Here we go. No, I'll turn off the music for now. We'll set the mood. Oh, now it's a lot more spookier. Decomposed corpse, more flesh. Rotten leg. Oh, here's a bunch of alchemy stuff. The mixing pot. This looks like a pot in which ingredients are mixed, so I'm guessing this is where I put all the ingredients once I find them. I have a few of them already. Empty bottle. I guess that'll be usable. I'm gonna take all of these in case I need it. More nightshade. These are all empty. Loads of mort flesh. Do I just need, like, general mort flesh? Spooky ectoplasm. Tis Halloween. Ooh, a lot of good swords in here. Good stuff. Potions of healing. Rotten arm. I have the rotten leg. I'm hoping a rotten leg will do. I'm assuming it'll be fine. Ooh, skeletal hand. I definitely need that, right? A hand. Parchment, anything on them. They're all empty. Right, we have loads of strawberries. That's nice. They haven't gone off. <laughs> I don't want to take the bowl. I want the strawberries out, whatever. I'll take them all. Dwemer history and culture. Magic from the sky. I want to try and fully explore this place before we really narrow down what we need to brew the potion. I like this though, I like this puzzle. Gets the head moving. Gets the brain jogging. Oh, I can hear spooky stuff in the background. Yeah, this is definitely better play with the music off. This is the way I came last time. There must be another room next to the experiment room, right? Oh, here we go. The corpse pit. Oh, this is where we get one of the ingredients, right? Warning lesser, aggressive undead inside the corpse piss. I'm well used to it, can I jump over? Oh! Hey, strong potion of healing. I might need that. Can I fall down normally? Yes, I can. <laughs> Acrobatics went up. Oh, is this just a teleportation cell? Okay, I do have to use the ladder. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did that. Wait, use it. Use it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> I've ruined the horror moves. Okay, and back up, use the ladder. There we go, we have to teleport to another cell. Spooky, scary, zombie on walls. What's the music like? Oh, here we go. Dungeon music. I'll keep this on. Do you need a hand? Oh. <laughs> By the way, I hope this isn't a controversial choice, but I'm keeping the difficulty on easy because it's oblivion. I don't want to be here fighting like really tough enemies. I want to get spooked. Like enemies with a lot of health, I mean. Rotten arm, rotten leg. I might take an arm for now, just in case I need it. They're kind of heavy, but look. I'm not sure if, like, we can use either the leg or the arm in the experiment, or the potion. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm loving the vibe of this. This is great. There's another scythe. I need a scythe mod weapon. Oh no, my torch went out. I don't like this. Oh, I'm not an Argonian. Resist poison. Okay, I'll take that. Repair hammer. Okay. This is pitch dark for me too, by the way. What the feck is this? Is that a dead slaughterfish? Gonzoid Malkovin. My attack has no effect. Great. I need like a silver weapon. Uh oh, I'm gonna drown. Is that a ghost slaughterfish? Interesting. Am I actually gonna die? Shit. Fuck. Well, I'm gonna need to find some weapon to hit that slaughterfish with. Great. I didn't think I was gonna drown immediately. Okay, what's over here? That slaughterfish had like a, a unique name though. Was someone put into the spirit of a slaughterfish? 
cursed to swim in this mortal realm forever. Hello. Bye now. Did you ever see that one Oblivion like uh, documentary where the developer is like, I love placing zombies everywhere. They're talking about like building caves and there's one that who's just like, I place the zombies all over the place. I love them. I love the undead. <laughs> I try to use them as much as possible. It's the same documentary video where Todd Howard is like, I was in the chess club. I was very good. Who's laughing now? Skyrim was supposed to be a chess simulator. It just got a little too ambitious. Oh, there's loads of ghosts here. Do we have any weapon that can attack a ghost? I have the goblin staff. I also have spells. I have spells. Spells will do. Can I use spells underwater? Because in Morrowind I know it's kind of finicky. We can see, we can see, we can see. Old coffin, laced leather pants. I hope I get buried with really nice tight leather pants. He died how he lived. Hi, Skello. <laughs> this is gone down immediately. Give me all your arrows. Useful stuff. This is a big old dungeon. I must say. Dirty crazy. They're all dirty. They're all underground. Give me all the torches. I want a billion torches by the end of this video. I want so many. And repair hammers too. Good stuff. Well, I can sit here and ponder my life choices once more. Another year down. Another Halloween upon us. Oh, look at this. This would be a nice podcast area. I can discuss what my friends at Fortnite is really over racist. Anyway, get back up. The other Goku is brilliant now. Rotten torso. Weighs 20 pounds. What a fatty. Potion of healing, sorcery, lockpicks. A planter. Interesting, interesting. Guide to Leowin. The guide to Leowin is just one page. It just says don't go. The guide to Ireland is the exact same. Skull, bones. Them bones, them bones need calcium. They're a skeleton tan jug. I'm really searching this place to see if there's any, like, key items we need for our potion. I do need a Heart of Sorrow, they were saying. Let me look at the ingredients list again. Is it a heart I'm looking for from the... from the dead fella? Is it notes? I have the hand. And the writing. Oh, look at this. There's, like, a vase. Interesting, interesting. It's giving me Microsoft Paint energy, but I like it. Okay, Heart of Sorrow. The heart is someone who has felt emotional pain. Diseased body, diseased flesh. Okay. I need a heart. There were human hearts as offerings in the first room, but I would assume the heart of sorrow comes from the corpse pit, right? Which areas have I not checked? I need to kill the feckin' slaughterfish too. Nice old windy cave. It's feckin' big. Big old place. Okay, let's try the slaughterfish again, but I'm gonna drown. I just need to be really quick. You can't cast ranged spells underwater, Chris. Well, I'm gonna leave that slaughterfish alone, I guess, if I can help us. Fan brilliant. Oh, it's so dark with no torch. Well, Grace, I'm gonna hear constant, constant <laughs> combat music because of the damn slaughterfish. There's another underwater area here. Is there, like, constant ghost slaughterfish around? Okay, here's some breeding spots. Oh, dead rats. Oh, that's nice. Poor fella. Hello, I can defeat you. Bye now. Why do I have combat music from the slaughterfish? He's not gonna follow me. He can try. Okay, bones, bones. Look at them bones. I feel so alone. Okay, anything? Hello, Buzz. Oh, he's the heartbreaker corpse. Are you the sorrow fella? There's the broken hairs. I'm sorry, Buzz. Hopefully you can see your girlfriend in the next life. If she remembers you. It's been long enough. Maybe she found someone else in the afterlife. <laughs> Wouldn't that be really sad? <laughs> she found someone else. He has to spend eternity with that knowledge. I've been in heaven for so long. I found someone else. Sorry. He's really nice. Her new boyfriend's just a big spooky spectral ghost. Just goes, Arr. a fatigue pants. That's great. I'll definitely use those and not sell them. Sorcery, loads of torches. Okay, so we got the rotten heart. I think the heart is like the only thing we need here. Oh, steel claymore. Taking this. I need to drop a lot of guff. I'm gonna take a risk and assume I only need one bit of rotten flesh, so I'm gonna drop the leg. I'll keep the hand, because that seems useful. Don't need a bone, don't need a bear pelt, okay. So we have the rotten hairs. I think we have most of the ingredients we need, right? I'll go up to the mixing pot and see if we can just make it straight away. And if not, I'll look into the potion list. Okay, let's go back this way. Is there any other section I didn't check? There's a way down here I didn't explore, actually. I might kill that slaughterfish with a cheeky command and see if they have anything useful before I move on. So I have no, like, magical weapon to attack the slaughterfish, and I can't use range spells underwater. Maybe I can use a touch spell to kill us if I have a scroll? Maybe, maybe, maybe. This is why you prepare before you do mods, Michael. Bye now. Potion of healing. 
Lockpick, tongues. There's still loads of areas I haven't gone to. Probably good to fully explore this place before leaving, just to make sure. I think this is where the slaughterfish was. Yes, indeed leads you. Okay. Like, the slaughterfish has a unique name. I just want to make sure, like... Spirit scales. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's actually useful. So, do I have any scrolls on touch? I have absorb health. Damage health, fire damage. On touch? On Targus. I have absorb health 10 points. And do I have another absorb health? Absorb block. You can, like, lure slaughterfish out to the ocean. Out of the water in this game. That's it, barely any damage. Come on, bud, follow me. Follow me. Come on up, come on up here. I can get him to follow me. Come on, pal. AI path him. Actually, where's my staff? Can I use that underwater? It's open. I'm gonna use a petty soul gem on us. Here's hoping he gets enough charges. Where are you? Slaughterfish? Slow fish? Oh, did you glitch? He glitched out. Oh, and I saved before he glitched out. Oh no, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay. Exit the water. I just need to kill the slaughterfish. I can see his glow. Oh, there you are. Come here, bud. Come here. Okay, come on out the water here. Come on. Really? Oh, there you are. Can't cast spells on the- look, I have nothing to kill this slaughterfish. I've tried, sadly, it seems like I have to kill you, bud. Here you are. Look, I tried, sorry about that. Anyway, we have the spirit scales in case we need them. Like, I'm assuming they would have been needed, so I just wanted to get them now to be sure. Okay, there's a path up here I haven't gone in. There's a nice old gem. I love a good gem. I love a good Resident Evil red gem. It's good stuff. Oh, don't tell me I'm failing. Come on. There you go. There we go. It took me long enough. I broke a few picks there. Okay, more to explore. This cave area is pretty huge and it's really well put together. I guess now we fully explored, we can exit. Yeah, that'd be a good call. Let's go back to the mixing potion pot thing. This looks like a pot in which ingredients are mixed. I'm guessing I don't have everything. Heart of Sorrow, I have that. Poison Leaves, I've got that. Disease Body, I've got that. Mind Dome, I have no idea. Handprint, a part of the recipe. Two drawings, a glowing stone and a keyhole. Here's the handprint. There's the glowing stone and the keyhole. Heart, oh heart. That is a fair. Heart, Sorrow, Poison Leaves, Disease Body. The Mind Dome. Hand, that's a Welkin Stone. That's a keyhole. Poison Leaves, Disease Body, Heart, Sorrow. I have no idea what this even is. I need to find what this mind dome is. And a welkin stone and a keyhole? There's gotta be more rooms and stuff I haven't seen. Have I explored everywhere? I have. Okay, I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit. Mind dome and keyhole. Did I get some key items that I can use to advance somewhere else? What was in here? Is there anything here? There's a well. Okay, what about these rooms? Like these little, little study rooms. Myth or Menace, is that about Spider-Man? Did J. Jonah write that book? If we get super stuck during this, there is a read me saying exactly what we need. If we need to move the video along. But I do want to figure this out. But I'm not seeing any more important items. I don't want to get stuck this early in. Anything here that can help us along? This is where I found, like, the experiment notes and all that. Here's her desk. She just keeps ham on her desk. That's what I keep my desk. Just slices of ham. Great energy during a long recording and editing session. No, I'm not finding anything. Okay, well, I'm a little bit stumped. I feel like I've searched a grand majority of the area. I'm gonna check the chapel, like, the actual entrance. Hello, are you the mind dome? Can I click on you? I can't. Hello, you're a skull. High skull. Necromancer supplies. Not much. I might need to have a look at the read me. I have no idea where else I can go. I don't want to go back down to the corpse piss. I've explored all of that, right? I've checked the experiments hall, I've checked like the rooms. Yeah, I might need to take a quick glance just so we can move this along because I'm a little stumped and I don't want to be here for long. If I was playing this mod casually, I'd have like a good proper look around, but for a video, I kind of need to keep it moving. So we'll see, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here's the deal. The glowing stone and the keyhole. The glowing stone is a welkin stone. I thought it would be a unique welkin stone, but we can get any welkin stone out of a ruin, so we can just 
get the one next door there's a place nearby we can get a welcome stone and the keyhole is just a lockpick i thought we had to find like a key and like like an important welcome stone but it's just a lockpick and a welcome stone okay that's fair mine dome is also a skull i probably should have guessed that we just need a normal skull and there we go okay i need a welcome stone i have plenty of lockpicks so we just need a regular old welcome stone i was looking for unique items in this area so i guess that's my own bad for not taking a little bit outside the box but look, we know now, we can keep it going forward. It's a nice old little puzzle. I figured out the other stuff pretty quick. I'm gonna turn on the nice music. I've been in dirty caves too long. Here we go. We should be able to get one pretty quick from here. In and out. We should have all the ingredients then. Nenalata. Spooky. Okay, I need a very quick one. Any welcome stones quickly on hand? Hi, skellies. Bye now. I've hit loads of skellies. Here we go. Plenty to go around. I'll take one or two. I'll actually take a few, why not? I have to carry space, right? Uh, barely. I'll take a bunch, why not? I might need the magicka. Bye now. There we go. Alright, now we can go to the psychological torture realm. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, so back to the experiment hall, right? I'm pretty sure I have everything now, right? Keyhole, I would have assumed keyhole was like a key. I guess a lockpick goes in the keyhole. There we go. I've successfully mixed a batch of Halir's teleportation potion. The liquid looks vile and smells like blood and magical sewage. That's great. If this actually works, <laughs> that's what lion's tea is like. If this actually works, I should be teleported to Halir's void when I drink this. Whatever I find on the other side, be it man or beast, I must destroy it before it returns to Moondas and lay waste to all of Tamriel. We're gonna save the world. Here's the potion. This is dope. I love this. This is great so far. There's a shadow make sure it's love. Teleportation potion. Teleport for two seconds. Are you ready? Surreal Beptum. I hope you are. <laughs> he doesn't look ready. This is terrifying. This is spooky. Okay. Oh, this is freaky. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna collect hearts to sleep. I am fucking- Jesus Christ, this is terrifying, look at that. I don't like this at all. The child awoke in the nightmare world. Everywhere the child looked, it saw only dead flesh and bone drenched in darkness. Frightened, the child ran aimlessly through the dark. In a blister of light, an angel appeared to the child. It spoke and said, do not be afraid. For your body draws breath and your mind seeks wisdom. You are much stronger than you believe yourself to be. Isn't that nice? Something's gonna appear behind me, right? <laughs> I have a heart. Do you want this? <laughs> I don't like this, where am I going? I don't like this at all at all. Hi buddy, how you doing? I talked to you. Jen. There's no one there. The lights are on but there's nobody home. I'm loving the lighting here. Never so I'm proper spooked now. Corpse glow. Soul glow. Nightshade, respite, seeds. Loads of torches. Grace. If torches were worth 10 gold each, I'd be a billionaire by now. You need a heart, don't you? Okay, I gave him something. I don't know what I gave him. Another heart. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's a platform of bodies. This is great. Don't follow. It reminds me of like Hen and Tears Dream World, but a lot more cursed. That quest used to spook me as a kid too. Okay, don't fall down. Arrows, healing. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Stop draining my spees. I need that to spees. I'm a let's player, aren't I? There's a skull. I'll take that in case I need it for later. You never know. You never know. Don't fall down. Scroll of plank jumping. Does it increase my acrobatics? 80 points. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need that in a second, right? Scroll of plank jumping. Oh, my speed's all being damaged. I need I need to get this stuff here. Take more arrows. Giving me loads of potions of healing. They're really helping me out. <laughs> I hope I'm not falling down yet. Collect hearts. Crap, I need to come back here. Shit, which way? Uh, here. Fuck, I'm almost dead. It should be fine now. Few potions I've already went this way. Oh, maybe I can use the acrobatics to jump over the other way if I need to right now. I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna run over. This is really well done, I'm loving this mod so far. What a great way to kick off the horror mod -a -thon. Oh, avoid that. I almost fell off. I don't like this room. It looks the most normal, but it's the most deceiving. Corpse hairs. Hello, boys. Rake. It's a rake because we're having rakes of fun. Where the fuck am I? Look. Can I wait? You can't wait in this location. Oh, look at this. 
Look at the view distance. Okay. All right. This is eerie. Is something gonna jump scare me? Can something jump scare you in Oblivion? Okay, skeletons and bones. This is effective. I like the view distance altering. The heart dungeon. Do I want to go this way? Yes, why not? We'll have a, we'll have a dip inside the heart dungeon. Look at this. These are really well made. The presentation here is astounding. Can I have a bit of mind seize? I might need it. Oh, it's human skin. You have a beard of hands. Looks better than a neck beard, I'll tell you that much. No one dares to venture into the dark forest. Strange creatures are said to lurk behind the twisted branches. Frightening sounds echo between the dead trees. Those who go in rarely come out. Those who have tell stories of Morty. A man made of bones who lives in the shack hidden deep within the woods. Said to be the only refuge to find there, men call him a sorcerer, an ancient warlock who knows many things. Mere mortals do not. Mars. Is it Mars or Marcy? I guess Mars because it's like dead flesh necromancer stuff. Hello, can I have your staff? Taylor. Oh, staff of doom to drains luck. I love a pear, it's a nice snack. It's been a long day. There you are, bet them. Enjoy that. Hello. I found my corpse hair, so I guess I can leave now and go back into the curse realm. Potion of healing. Hidden potions. In terms of presentation and design, this is one of the best horror mods I've played so far in my career. And I've played a few already, but this one is astounding. And it's like newly released too. I highly, highly recommend checking it out. Even if you want to stop watching this video and experience it for yourself, I highly recommend it. You're allowed to. You can if you want. Oh, I found the corpse door. I've left this realm early. Fine. Oh no, it's... <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, for fu I, I hate this. I don't like this at all at all. I'm not good with horror. I don't want to go forward. This looks like the testing hall. <laughs> Is that spooky? Okay, that's not too bad. That's all race. It's all race. Have a good time, cause it's all race. Oh, it's all race. Hi, do you have a heart for me? Don't need more arrows. There's great loot here, to be fair. I'll take a ladle, why not? Cause it's all race. Have a good time. I heard something. Did I? <laughs> Oblivion shouldn't be fucking scaring me. It's very easy to get lost here. Rotten torsos, rotten legs, that's very nice. I know something's gonna spawn behind me. I'm gonna turn around and something's gonna appear. My athletics is going up. I'm gonna need that for later. I'm gonna have to run fast. Okay, I've been in this section. Okay, there's a way I haven't gone here. Like, I'm playing this in the night and the curtains are drawn and everything. Perfect atmosphere. I hear Nord being attacked. What? You alright, boys? You're alive? I know. I, I like her. Oh, she's cool. She's a she's a goss mommy. You're okay, boys? You having a good time? Grand Duke. Are you gonna win? I hope you do. I kind of want your orcish after you die. Oh, he's an orc, not a Nord. It's the same voice actor. Anyway. Tessius the Sword. Is that any good? Silver. I'll take it. Guessing it's a quest item. I'm gonna want your armor. His health is restoring, is it? Is he just constantly going to be attacked? I don't know if he can be killed. I'm gonna wait here a little bit. Oh, there he goes. Mine. Oh, he's just gonna respawn. Oh, well, I missed my opportunity to lose him. Well, he's forever cursed. I know, I had the SARS. Ha, ah, take that. You don't scare me. Girls always scare me. There's still a few areas I haven't explored down here yet. This is the back rooms in Oblivion? Just what I've always wanted. I think comparing this mod to the back rooms is an insult to this mod, and I apologize for that. Hello, that's a big skeleton. I have your sword. Do you want the back? It's mine now. Tough luck. Tough tits. Okay, that's a minotaur. That's a scary noise. Hello. You have eyes. You're freaky. Can I defeat you? The seer. Are you like the overseer? You made a freaky sound. Is that a floating head? What the fuck is going on? That was a terrifying sound you made. I don't know if like you're supposed to have a head. That is freaky. Oh, I can level up. That's fun. You have a nice warhammer. Big ebony oak. Really freaky sounds coming from you, pal. Seer's gaze. 
Is it enchanted? It's worth nothing and it weighs 120 pounds? But I can't keep that. Here's hoping I don't need it. I'm gonna make a save here just in case I need that weapon, but I, I don't think I should. I have your key, okay. My torch couldn't have gone out in a worse time. <laughs> Fuck me, that scared me. Hello. Yeah, race. you're just hanging out. Okay, what's here? Potions healing, more torches. Can I rest here? I can't wait. I wanna level up. Spooky, scary corridors are making me shit my pants. I guess I need the key for here, right? Door opened. Oh, this is like the Imperial City Prison. Okay, there's the corpse heart I need to transport to the next area, I'm assuming. Any secrets here? Look, Uriel Septum, you're back. You're back here, aren't you? Aren't you delighted? What's down here? Silence, that's nice. I might need that. People think I'm a nine. <laughs> Shut me up for a bit. Dead Necromancer. Venison. Fundamentals of Alchemy. Sorry about that, Brenda. You're gone now. She's gone to a better place. Manker Cameron's realm. Enjoy it. I do not feel dead, so that's nice. There's bones sticking out of there. Okay, since I have the heart, I'm guessing I can move forward. I forget where I even placed the heart. Hello. Do I give you something? Do you need something? And listen, these are such cool designs for statues. Oh, I found his shield. Okay, interesting. I have his weapons and his shield. They don't weigh anything, so that's pretty handy. Nice little room, nice little chamber. How you doing, bud? Been a minute. Been a hot minute. It's been a hot house flower since I've seen you. You rice, do I give it to you? Or do I offer this hair to? I have to give it to something to move on. I can hear that fucking orc still being attacked. Is it here? Can I offer you something? Do you want the hairs? I have loads. There's a potion back here. I love all the hidden potions and stuff. Best of luck with the internal damnation, bud. Best of luck with it. I've been around this place a few times. I have the heart so I can move on. It's just finding the place where I can offer it to. I've been here. The bones are gone? Where did the bones go? Did they clip through the reality? Are you going to respawn as like an enemy? I think you might. I haven't been down here apparently. Oh, there's a whole section here I haven't been. Hi. This is where I go. I have your hairs. Okay. It's always the last place you check. This place is pitch Derek. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all at all. I don't like this at all at all. I can't see. I can't see. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't. <laughs> it's like Mario 64. Stop laughing at me. I know I'm a YouTuber. I don't deserve it. Or do I? We all do. Oh God, I don't... Fuck off. I don't like this at all. <clears throat> hey, Skulls. What are you going to spook me with? Oh, this is properly scaring me. But... That was my torch. Found the corpse heart. Okay, I can get out of here. Crystal ball. I don't need that. Bit of crystal meth to get me through this thing. <laughs> you can't spook me. I'm Catholic. We're already spooked enough in life. Get me out of here. Okay. Standard old room. That's fine, I can deal with this. This looks like a skin rat house. Steel. Do with a bit of steel, actually. I'll take that instead of my fur guff. There's really good loot here. I am loving it. I still have those spirit scales from the slaughterfish. Nice strawberries. There's loads of strawberries here. Those necromancers love their strawberries. Getting their fruit in. Getting their five a day. Who can honestly say they get their five a day in? Five fruit and veg. I feel healthy if I get one in a day. And that's on a good day. Five a day. Who has time for that? Silver short sword. I like the design of this. <laughs> oh, this is the party. What oh, is? Oh, it is. It's the same NPCs. Right? Wait, I don't think so. I think they might be different. It's like the Dark Brotherhood quest with the, the party quest. How's the name escaping me? Brilliant quest. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Hello. I feel fantastic. Time passes as opportunities fade. Stop making noises at me, but stop making noises at me. That's it, something. Did that change the world? Time passes as opportunity fades. That's a nice little life message. Isn't that a comforting toss? Time passing is opportunities being lost. That's great. Very motivational. That big skull should give a TED talk. You wish you could leave. Oh, for fuck's sake. This place is going to proper spook me, right? I have to go past the skull. Let me past. Let me past. Wait, what's on their corpses? Do you have anything? Oh, they're naked now. This place is getting more warped, I think. 
What's that? Nothing there. So the place is changing ever so slightly. Okay. Dead body bits in the fire. Oh, the house key. Can I leave with the key? You wish you could leave. Can I go back to the skull? I don't want to go back to the skull. I have a key. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's brilliant. But Jesus, that's scaring me. The dark forest. Oh, here we go. We read the book about this place. My key is gone. I can never return if I wanted to. Potion healing. Repair hammers, torches. Good stuff, good stuff. That's what we like to see, don't we? You can barely see off the edge, okay. Keep going down this path. Okay, a little hard to see in front of me. I can just about make up paths. Here's hoping I don't have to, like, search through this place to find items because it's going to be a bit of a pain to backtrack. Look at that. Torn page to children. Knew not to stray far from the path, for the wolf lurked in the shadows. He carried a torch, a terrifying red, and any child he'd see wander off the path, he would chase down with sickening glee. Glee? I don't want to watch that show. It's just, no matter how fast the frightened children ran, they could not outrun the wolf, and every child he'd catch, he would gut with his cold blade. Right. The townsfolk assembled and hunted the wolf down, and kill him they did, but he would always return. And each time they tried, the woods would howl with laughter, for the wolf knows he can never die. It's a nice story before bed, ain't it? The wolf who can never die. The wolf who can never slow down. Here's a nice bridge. Am I gonna find the wolf? Oh, fuck me! I'm alright. I'm alright. All right. <laughs> fuck me, Harry Kane, huh? Okay, okay. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm doing well. That's properly spooked me. Fuck me. Ooh. More better not spot. Gee, that, that woke me up. Who needs coffee, huh? Hello. How are you doing, boys? Carps. That's nice. He's having a carps party. Remember Corpse Party? I should play Corpse Party. That game is so weird, but I like it. Fuck me. The Sunken Shack. Oh, and it's properly tilted and everything when you go inside. I'm loving the detail here. Morty's tin bone. I might need that, so I guess I'll take it. Okay. I did not expect to be spooked that bad. The way it moves, like that enemy. Ooh, that got me. Ooh, that got me. Ooh, that got me. Okay, so I got Marty's bone. I, I guess I can give that back to him if he wants us. Seems like it might be better to explore this place in third person. I can see a little bit more ahead of me. Arrows for days here. I feel like third person gets rid of the spook factor, so you know what, we'll go back into first. For the raw horror experience. That was the first time I've ever been, like, properly scared in a Elder Scrolls horror mod. The mod creator knows to use those moments sparingly, and it's very effective. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck me. Hello. Daryl Zool. Skuma! I like that. I'll take a leather cures, because I think that's better than the fur one I have on. And it's broken. Great. He said his eyes fit perfectly in that helmet. Black soul gem. Ooh, spooky. They are necromancers, to be fair. Hi, <laughs> zombie. Just running around. Good lads. I'll leave you alone. Zombies are my friends now. I don't like to float yarn, fellas. They can fuck off. It's hard to really get my footing here. I can follow the lights from far away, I guess, actually, yeah. I don't know why it's giving me Elden Ring vibes, but it is. Like, big underground areas. Spooky. Okay, so you are supposed to use the lights to navigate. Corpse heart. Okay, I can move along with that, right? I can advance. Don't I have loads of corpse hearts? I think I have two, right? Do I need, like, a few? I might need a few corpse hearts from this area. This might be, like, a big treasure hunt. Hello? The wolf. Oh, I found you! Oh, you're never gonna die, right? Are you, like, a Daedra? I don't like that. Look at that torch. What's that light? Stop laughing at me. Is that the wolf? I'm never gonna escape you, right? More laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm never gonna escape you, this is properly spooky, terrifying. Bye now. Oh, you found your spawning zone. I'm two steps ahead of you, bud. Can I just run? I need to get out of here. Follow the lights. Okay. Respite, respite. This is where I go. Go away, he might follow me inside. The abandoned farmhouse.
blacksmith's apron, shears, stone cup, abandoned basement. I don't want to go into the abandoned basement. I want to go into the nice basement with loads of me's and copies of Morrowind. I'll be happy out. My happy place. Hello. She's fucking crying. She's fucking crying. Put on your big boy pants. Hello. Do you have any items? I don't like your crying. I found your pelvis. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, I didn't like that, I didn't like that, I didn't like that, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. Okay, so I'm collecting pieces of, like, body parts, right? What time's it, Mr. Wolf? Haha, <laughs> did you ever play this? You must get very bored down here. I know, do you have a grommite dagger? You do. Shite weapon. Wolf's claw. Only the wolf may hold his claws. Okay. I know. You're a great person to grind my blade skill on. Okay, I'm gonna follow these lights back here. I've been around here, is the thing. Okay, maybe this way I can explore, right? Yeah, there's lights over here. And oh, there's a well. Did Timmy fall down it? Is there anything here? Fuck off, you're annoying me now. I think I got stuff up here. <laughs> Go away. Oh, stop knocking me down. Oh, you're just a nuisance. Go away. This place is properly pitched dark. There's a nice chapel. Does the wolf know where I am? I can see his torch from far away. I can see him from far. Who's after me? What? <laughs> I don't like those. I don't want to go into the chapel, but I have to. Hello. That's a big skull. Look at the animation. <laughs> is that an arena? That's an arena participant. Oh, it's you. End your own. I have your notes. You're a bastard. I'll don't drain my strength. Mm. She's powerful. A little bit. It's a long recording session, but it's fun. I can't move. Oh, don't heal. Oh, I've got the rattles. I don't want rattles. And I'm paralyzed. This is tough. Okay, I'm gonna wait out so she can follow me though. I have potions of healing. Use those. I have loads of them. Stop healing, you bastard. Oh, would you look at that? Apprentice of Heavy Armor. That's fun. I want to level up. Is this magic fire shield? Good stuff. Vampire dust. Elven longsword. Give me that for days. For days give me that. Good upgrade. Seven damage. Hello. Oh, we can move on. Okay. We're still going. We're still going. We have loads of people to defeat. Oh, there's walls of zombie corpses. Water's hands. That didn't do anything. Do I go around this? Okay, you can see like mushrooms from far away. Something's gonna spook me. Right. Hello, what's this? Ice skulls. Spookies? It's a bit hard for me to take skulls seriously because skeletons are a bit of a joke nowadays, but everything else is pretty effective horror-wise. Uh, glowing, purple, pink, whatever. It's neon lights. No stairway. Denied. Okay, it's another room full of corridors. Fire scrolls, I'll take those. Might need them. Don't need more arrows. I'll leave those. I'll leave those for the next poor adventurer. Fever the mind. A child lay sick in its crib in its bedroom. Stricken with fever, the mother called a doctor, a priest and a witch to heal her sick child. All three gathered with the mother outside the child's room. The doctor went first into the room. He inspected the child's health, gave it medication and left the room. The mother went in the room, then came back and told him her child was still sick. The priest went second into the room. He read from his text and prayed for the child before leaving the room. The mother went into the room, then came back and told them her child was still sick. The witch went third into the room. She gave the child potions to drink and healing charms to wear. Then she left the room. The mother went back into the room, came back and told them the child was dead. Well, they're not sick anymore, so like, the witch helped. The mind boys. Great. What do I do? Do I parkour? I hear walking. The walking was me. <laughs> well, look at this. Oh, we have a nice area to walk down towards. I'll go this way, sure. Why not? Oh, it's a void. I'm walking on fucking zombie heads. This mod's a really good length, too. I'm liking it. It's quality the whole way. Alright. Is this the way I go? I'm assuming. He's still following the same path. It's a pretty long one. It keeps going. Okay, there's something there. What is that? Are you gonna lead me there? I think you were. I keep falling into their head pits. Oh, there's the doorway with the mother's hand. Oh, I'm on top of the wall. I know where I am. Okay, well, don't fall off. Haven't I been here? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a place in the middle here, right? 
it seems like there's something here across this way. Here we go. I went the long way around. Okay. There's nothing here. It's a big empty vase. What wants to hurt me? Anything here? Anything at all? Is there anything here? No. Really? What's this tree? What's this stuff? Anything on the floor? Bones, skulls, more bones. <laughs> Green giant. There's nothing here. Can I go back into the room? There's the mother's hand in the doorway, but like, I have no idea where that leads to. Can I jump outside the walls? I'm gonna say first and see if I can do this. Is there stuff out here maybe I need? So I'm outside the boundary. I'm gonna guess there's nothing outside here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have to be here. I'm gonna go back inside the house. The basement? Wait, what's the base? Is that the way I came from? I'm gonna double check to be sure. What's the basement? There's a basement here? Huh. It's showing an area here called the basement. I'm just flying around to see if I missed anything. It's above, okay. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get there, so... There's a basement in here. Can I get to the basement from on top of the pile of bodies, maybe? I'm gonna try. Okay, so here's where the basement is. I have a scroll of acrobatics. Maybe I can jump and enter the basement? It seems like you can maybe reach out with a jump if you have high enough acrobatic skill. Plank jumping. Oh, come on, it's hard to move and jump in oblivion. There we go. I got in. Am I supposed to be here? Hello? Maybe? That's Shivering Isles armor. Hi, Thorn. Who killed the child, the witch? Okay. I was wrong. I read the book, though. You're making scary noises. Soul Blister. Do I have to keep fighting you until I get the right answer? Let's read the book again. Maybe the witch is the wrong answer. Maybe they're leading me on. The doctor went in, inspected the child, gave him medication, and left. The priest went in, he read from his text and prayed, and left. The witch gave potions and healing charms. The child was dead. The mother! Ooh! Correct, she was always the last one to see the child. Oh, it was a riddle. I didn't read the mother option. I should have picked that. Ooh, I'm very smart. Was that the intended way to get to this basement by jumping up? Here's the child's body. Why do I need that? Hi, Zor. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I need that to go back into the mother's door, right? The mother's hand. And this is how we get back. Okay. It's all coming together. Hi. There we go. I can go in the door now. Swimming is better than running to make your athletics increase. It's true. You use more of your body. Loving the design here, like the underground house and everything. Oh, it's like a little tidy town. There's a there's a skull door. Wooden door to house. Seems normal. Oh, it's a child's hand. What's here? Wants to attack me. Hello, it's just one of you. You scared me earlier, but now I'm prepared. Skull lever? What did that do? There's something about this. Well, I pulled the lever. Did that do anything outside? I'll open the door. Nice, nice, nice. There's bones on the walls. There's bones everywhere. It's very bony today. Bone central. There's a ladle. I don't need another. Can't use that door. Hi, fellas. You're gonna spook me, aren't you? They didn't ask me a riddle to cross the bridge. I would have expected this. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that. I am astounded by how good this is. Like, sincerely. I wasn't expecting much. This mod was just, like, uploaded a week ago. Barrier coffin. Do I have to place, like, a key item inside there? Hello, dead body in the corner. Ek Nero. Okay, glowing corpse. Sorcery. Protect. I love the glowing dead zombie bodies giving me useful items. Dark eyes. Poor dark eyes. Oh, it's an Argonian! Very spooky looking Argonian. He has dark eyes. To bits. You're gonna spook me. Hello, house. How are you doing? Oh. Mm. Stop draining my speed. Oh, it teleports you if it hits you. I don't like that. Else. 
Oh, I'm falling down. Great. And you just spawn back. This is clever. I need to outrun you. Okay, jump. Alright. Uh, barrier skull. Okay, put that in the coffin. I guess you can teleport me back. Or completely miss me, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Thanks for that. Okay, barrier coffin. Here's the coffin. Barrier skull. That do anything? It opened the barrier. Oh, there's places I haven't been here yet. I'm guessing I need more parts to put in the coffin. If it opens anything. Isn't this the way I came? Ah! Yes, it is. Ah! Okay, there's the coffin. I put the skull in the coffin. There's stuff back here. Okay, there's more coffins. How many skulls do I need? Oh, there's loads of stuff back here. Okay, okay, I found a whole new area. I need three skulls, I'm guessing. Stop draining my speed, you bastard. Very rude. Oh, eerie. Hello. <laughs> She's just cupboard head. The sequel to Pyramid Head. Is that a Grumite? Ah, oh, poor fella. Who made statues of Grumites? <laughs> the weakest, most pathetic enemy. Spooky, scary corridor. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. That was the lost soul of a child. That kind of spooked me a little bit. Just a taz. Just a tad. Just a smidge. A tiny little smidge. Hello. Hi, house. Give a skull for me. In the middle of my street. <laughs> Torch. What's the arena? Coffin ribs. Do I need those? Moving skeleton. He's not moving. Yes. Skull coffin. Okay. It's a little puzzle, huh? I'm over encumbered. How heavy are they? Five each. So I'm guessing I place these into each of the coffins, right? Did that do it? Did I do the thing? Did you like this? There's another area over there. Activating him does nothing. Rotten arm. Okay, there's a skull on that coffin. But not on these ones. Do I put them all in the same coffin? Oh, wait, there's a skull here. Do I, do I put the skull where the skull is? I'm a little lost, but look. I'll put everything in. You want all the bones. Did that do it? It's a rotten arm. That skull was a skull I dropped. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what it wants from me. I do not know. Bit stumped. Bit stumped there. I guess I'll just have to come back. Okay, right, there's another house here. Have I been into this house? I have no idea what that other room wanted from me. Here we go. Here's a place here. I need more skull barrier things to put in the coffin. Oh, hello. It's a nice old bridge. Very inviting. Two separate paths. Let's see where this one goes. Dividing corpse. Interesting. Oh, I fell off. Will I spawn back? Okay, what's down this way? Another dividing corpse? Will I just activate them both? Okay. Oh, and it opened a path. Gotcha. Where's my skull? There we go, I got my reward. Is that all I need? Something's gonna spook me on the way back, right? I know what you're at. Just go back, just go back, just go back. Uh. Where's the, where's the, did you remove the bridge back? Oh, I think you did, you bastards. What did you do, what did you do? Acrobatics is going up. Press E again. Something's gonna spook me. Here we go, it's back. Okay. Alright, so I'm back and there's a few things we need to go over. I'm saying I'm back because I'm recording this video in two parts. It's a pretty long mod, so I'm back, I'm recording more, and there's one or two things I want to go over. The first is that there was a recommended mod that was pretty crucial to this uh, playthrough that I didn't install. It was on the mod page. It was like a lich mod that's needed with this mod, and I didn't have it installed for this playthrough. I completely missed it. There's a torch mod that I downloaded that's recommended for this mod, and I saw that, but somehow I missed that there was like a lich mod you needed 
needed to have installed. So I believe it just changes the appearance and variety of enemies. So if enemies looked weird and off, that was probably why. I apologize to the mod creator if you're watching. That's pretty frustrating, I know. I feel bad. I <laughs> didn't have the right mod installed. So I think it just changed like the appearance of enemies and stuff. So hopefully it didn't like affect too much. Hopefully the video wasn't too annoying to watch with that not installed. So sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to continue. I have the mod installed. So enemies should be fine now. We still have a bit of the mod to get through, I'm assuming. So hopefully we get to see those varieties of enemies and liches. That'd be pretty dope. Um, the other thing is that I took some time away to try and figure out this puzzle on my own. I have no music on. Why is this? Turn that on. I like the spooky tunes. So I was inside this room for a little bit trying to figure out what to do and I didn't get it at all. Like... I sincerely don't. When we came into this room, there was four ribs onto these stools, right? And there's the moving skeleton. I assume you move all the ribs into the coffins and then you activate the skeleton and you get transported over there. I did fly over there with console commands just to see what was over there and to see if it was like quest crucial. It is pretty quest crucial. It's a heart that we need, so we do need to get over there, but I have no idea how to do this puzzle. Like, I'm legitimately stumped. I have all the coffin ribs. I'm gonna need to drop a bunch of stuff because they're heavy. Uh, I'll drop my stats for now. Just drop it. Drop it, drop it. So, my assumption was, like, you take these ribs, right? And you put one into each coffin. Probably a pretty basic way to beat this puzzle, but that's, that's where my poor little Irish head was at. You know, put all the ribs in the coffin, activate the skeleton, and you get teleported over. It's not doing anything, right? So, I'm thinking there's some other way to do this puzzle. And if you look over here onto this coffin... There's like a skeleton skull. It even makes a different sound type or something else. So I was like, is there something I put in here? I do still have like one of the barrier skulls. Maybe I could like put that inside, maybe another skull or something and that activates or does something and I click on the skeleton and it doesn't move. And then I was thinking, what if I put all the ribs into the one cup? Oh, there's another skull here. Hold on, hold on I think. Hold on a tick. There's another skull here. Hold on. Hold on now a tick. I've never had this skull up here. I was... I was just going to say I don't know how to do this puzzle and now there's a skull here. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere I think. We're getting somewhere. Can we actually figure out this puzzle? I'd be so happy if I can. If I remove this and then look over here. Okay, can I put like the skull back in here? How did the skull appear? Is there another skull now? Okay, there's two here. I don't... Huh. How did that second skull appear here? I'm not... I'm still pretty perplexed on what I'm doing. But I'm going to assume skull there and skull there means maybe these two are fine and I could just focus on these ones? I'm going to assume. Do these ribs need to be in like a specific order? I don't think they do, right? Like, I'm assuming the way to beat this puzzle is have all these skulls on this coffin. Like, I do want to figure this out, but I'm just completely lost on what to do. I don't know if the answer is obvious and if I feel really dumb. Okay. Okay, there's another skull there now. Alright. Um. I'm gonna take this out. And I'm gonna put both these here, the skull and the ribs. Do you want both? That didn't do anything. We now have three skulls out of four. I have no idea what in the name of holy god I'm doing. I'm gonna put the rib back in here, I guess. Where's the rib? Where's the rib? Do I have a spare rib? I get a spare rib. Because there's skeletons. I'm gonna put the rib back in here. Okay, I guess we're figuring it out. Somehow. There's three skulls here now. I have no idea what the way it was to figure out this puzzle, but we're sort of doing it by basic deduction. I haven't, you know what, no, I haven't a blues clues, I really don't. Skull, do you want a skull? Does that skull even do anything? I don't know if it does. I'm gonna take the stuff from this coffin and put it into this one. Maybe it is a specific rib I need to be putting in here. It probably is, right? Maybe this first one and the barrier skull and the regular skull? We almost have tree for tree, but like... I haven't a blues clues I don't. Like, I'm just putting things in and out of this coffin. Until we eventually, like, do it. Is it a specific set of ribs? That's what I want to know. Is it specific? 
Okay, so I'm recording this now after editing, and I'm not gonna let this puzzle beat me, but there was one thing I wanted to try. This is future Mickey here. So I loaded back an old save, so we're back in this room, right? I was thinking while editing that the solution might be you put one rib into the first coffin, two into the next one, three into the next one, and four into the last one. Here's the thing. I'm gonna get the fourth rib now, and I'm gonna put it into the last coffin. And something happened. We have four skulls here now, right? We have four. All four are right there, right? So you would assume now I click on the moving skeleton and it still doesn't do anything? Like, I would assume after you get all the skulls on the coffin, that means you did it, right? I'm assuming maybe it is one in one coffin, two in another, three in another. Like you take the ribs out and you put them into like the, the right ones, but I have all the skulls activated now. So I'm still a little stumped. I tried. I'm still not sure exactly what the solution is. And uh, I'll bring you back to past Mickey playing through this mod. Maybe I'm just absolutely stupid. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know, sincerely. But I'm kind of sick of this puzzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new save so we can come back here if I ever mess up. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to fly over here because I'm fucking fly over. TLC. <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls, TCL. Listen to rhythm, ba da ba. So what was supposed to happen is you'd click on that moving skeleton and you'd get teleported over here and look, you can take this nice old corpse hair and uh... Yeah, you can teleport back. Look, I'm completely confused about what you do there. We got our hairs and we're gonna keep the video going because I don't want to be there too long. Now I know people watching are probably gonna tell me what the solution was, but please only really tell me if you've played this mod and you know what the solution is. If you've played this mod and you knew what the solution was, please let me know. Oh, I forget Cupboard Man, he's great. I still have my barrier skull, right? Go back and get your skull, go back and get your skull. You need those barrier skulls, shit. Yeah, don't leave that there. I'm very good at Oblivion, aren't I? This mod's extremely long. I don't really do two separate recordings for the one mod, but... I want to do this all in one video, and this is a really, like, really ambitious, really big mod. It just came out. It's still pretty underrated in terms of like mods and horror mods and stuff. It's one of the best ones I've played. It's gonna be a big old long video, so I hope you're enjoying it. If you made it this far, fucking cheers. You've stuck it out for a while. It's mostly to do with the quality of the mod and not me, so cheers for watching that long. <laughs> Isn't there somewhere I can put the barrier skull? Like, there's another place we go back to and I put them onto like coffins on the walls. Now, it has been a few days since I've been here, so, um, I'm gonna have to try and figure this out again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you on the ass. You need to get, like, high acrobatic skill to attack in the air in Oblivion, because I can attack in air. Very situational, attacking, while you're jumping. It is like Oblivion combat. I mean, Oblivion's not exactly a platformer, and it's pretty awkward combat in the air. I don't even think Skyrim has that. Oblivion has, like, really cool acrobatics, like, side jumping and stuff. If you get a high level in acrobatics. I still can't level up. Brandish. That's great. My speed's being drained. That's great. That means I run slower and I get to spend more time in this amazing mod I do. There's the barrier coffin. So I just need to find one more skull. But I'm a bit confused in where we get that. Because I've been pretty much around all this place. And I only got a heart in the other area. So maybe I have to go back in here and search all the rooms again. I'm assuming there's nothing we do with this until we get all the barrier skulls and advance forward. There has to be a way to get up there. Poor Dark Eyes. He's called Dark Eyes because he's wearing a dark robe. That torch is going out scares the life out of me. How many torches do I have? I should have like 50 billion, right? 40, I have loads of torches. I have loads of lights. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's a hidden doorway. There's nothing inside. I can't click on it. That's something. Have I been this way? Oh, is this new? Oh, new area! Oh, cool, cool, cool. New stuff, new stuff, new stuff. Place I haven't been to. All right, we're getting somewhere, I think. New locations are spooky. I feel bad for the mod creator now. I, I did install one of the recommended mods and I completely didn't know how to solve one of the puzzles. I'm a great let's player. I'm fucking brilliant, I am. Chapel, please tell me there's the last barrier skull here, right? The only reason I found that pass is because I got lost, so I guess that was a good sign. Cheap wine. Cheap wine. Hello, last barrier skull. Something's gonna appear behind me. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Okay, we got the last one. Maybe I can go back now. I have all the barrier skulls. Collecting all those skulls triggered something, right? Something's gonna freak me out. Something's gonna spook me. I'm not ready for spooks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You don't scare me. You're dead. The fuck can you do? Nothing. Thought so. I don't know what we used for the heart that we got in that room. Why, why did a bone in the wall scare me? 
barrier skull. That do something? I did it. Did this activate anything up here? Oh, was this here? Oh, I had to open up the stairway. Okay, okay. I thought it would do this. Okay, now we're cooking with portals, little pal. I have the corpse hairs. Bring me to the new horizon. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not... I'm not ready for horror. I just remember that me playing a horror mod means that I'm gonna have to be spooked, you know? Sometimes I don't mentally prepare for the stuff I'm about to play. Hello, <laughs> that's eerie. I like it though, I like the branches coming out of the head. Very Tim Burton. Mind void, we're going back. There's like great use of like Oblivion's assets and stuff, like these bridges just remind me of like Chain Hall and stuff like that. A nice old little passageways, but using them in these eerie dark rooms is extremely effective. It's like nostalgia, but creepy nostalgia and <laughs> hello door. I'm just going down the mine void portal. It probably wasn't a good thing that I drank like a pot of coffee before playing this. I'm in a very sensitive state of mind at the moment. Hi skulls, I don't want to see any more skulls as long as I live. Skulls are just part of horror, they don't even exist, they're not real. Just like skeletons, hello. Uh, it's an empty house. What's is that a package? Light brown linen. Light brown linen. Am I supposed to do something with those pants do I put them on? They seem important. Light brown linen. That's great. I'm assuming I don't go into the void there. Do I sit in the chair? There's a chair on the wall. Can I sit in the chair on the wall? That's pretty cool. I like that. You can go right through up with your look. Do I put the pants in the drawer? Put your pants away, clean up. Clean up after yourself. Good lads. Okay, okay. Was I right? Why do I figure out like the most- <laughs> How come I can figure that out easily but not the <laughs> fucking skull coffin puzzle? I don't know. I felt like that puzzle should have taken me a while to figure out but I, I, I got it pretty quick. Put the pants in the cupboard. Put away your clothes. I did this. Hello, Skull. There's so many rooms to this. The mod creator did say they've been working on this for a long time. I read from the mod post. Steel bow, silver arrow. Okay, do I shoot the skull on the other side? I'm assuming I do steel bow. I'm going to use the exact weapons you gave me. I'm going to drop my iron bow. Who needs that? Fuck off. Go into the void. I tore. Don't fall. so cool. I like that a lot. That's pretty dope. Needs a key, can't be picked. Alright. A yarn. Or. Air. I found an R. I'm gonna use the R. Is the yarn a key? Key yarn. So I found a floating place with yarn on it. And a key. This lock cannot be picked. Okay. Anything back over? Oh, there's another doorway here, right? Is that new? No, it just leaves back here. I just closed the door behind me. Hello. I found the key. Thanks for that. Yes, sound. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's bones in the background. This really is reminding me of like Hen and Tears Dream. I've said that a few times, boss. I really do like that quest in Oblivion, like exploring the dream realm. That quest used to freak me out as a kid. Like it made me really uncomfortable, but it's one of the most creative Elder Scrolls quests out there. I think Oblivion has some of the best quests in the Elder Scrolls. Like guild quests and everything, the main quest, I like Oblivion's main quest a ton. Like all the random side quests, like the Painted World, Hen and Tears Dream, the Shivering Isles, Oblivion's a fucking good game. I'll never let anyone put this game down, it's fantastic. That was cool, can I see that again? Look at that. I like that, I like the use of Derek and going into the, the door hole. Big lever. I need this, don't I? Mm -hmm, there's a vase. I'm gonna take this. Do I just need to take these items and then just walk back? Oh, let me go over here. What do all the items, like the vase and everything do? Mmm, they're changing. Oh, they're changing right before my eyes, aren't they? I like this glowing yellow house in the vase. It's my house. My house. In the middle of the void. Okay. Alright. It's been a while since they've spooked me. Hello, Dreadlear. Weren't you in the notes? I believe you were. Anyway, best of luck. It's good you had a happy ending, you know. <laughs> He's trying to give me a course bag, church, for that. Wait. Do I put something inside there? 
I don't have any hearts or anything. Corpse bag, okay. I'm guessing if I find any rotten body parts, I have to come back and put it into the bag like a nice fella. Okay, what's over here? That's changing. Oh, I'm falling down. I'm falling down, so I better respawn back up on the floor. Am I fucked? Do I not respawn back? All around me are familiar faces. It's a good thing I quick save all the time. The door's like partially open. Freaky fighting. Okay, so if you fall down, you're properly fucked. Just be careful. There's more platforming in this than Mario 64. There's nothing in there. Okay, so there's the corpse bag. I need to put maybe corpse parts into the corpse bag. Wait, is there anything here? Can I go in here? Okay, I can go in this door. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Corpse skull. Okay, I assume I need that. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Is that like a charred body asset from Kvatch? Okay, there's a heart back there I probably need to get, so I need to return here. I need to return here post haste once I complete my mighty quest. The corpse skull goes into the corpse skull hole. It's like the triangle square toy as a kid, you know, you put the square into the square hole and stuff like that. It's like that, except this is the adult version. There's your skull. Do I go back? Oh, where? your body's still there. Okay, I thought it disappeared. I'm guessing I go back now. My athletic, my athletic skill going up freaked me out. He's getting loads of jogging in, to be fair. My main character is very fit. Okay, I'm guessing I can go back in here now and get the heart. Yes, I can. Corpse heart. Void key. Okay, was there a locked door I missed? I don't recall seeing a locked door. Oh, here we go. Now this is open. I like long bridges that lead nowhere. <laughs> oh, spooky imagery all the way. I love this game's like really, well, I wouldn't say it's subtle, scary imagery, but you know, this mod creator really understands horror. I'm not even like much of a horror critic or a horror movie buff, but the horror here is very effective, I will say. It's not like cheap jump scares for the sake of it. It's incredibly eerie and you want to figure out what's going on and it's just good. It's, it's just good shit. The wizard's lament. The wizard sat alone, drenched in darkness. He did not know where he was or how he came to be here. He looked around himself, hoping to regain a semblance of understanding, only to find none. The world around him bore traces of familiarity that were cruelly twisted and bent out of shape. Everything looked wrong about the walls which surrounded him, yet the wizard could not tell exactly what. He looked back down towards the table. His hands lay there, flat, facing upwards. His flesh had grown blackened and foul. He felt tough, like a corpse. The skin had begun receding in some areas showing glimpses of dirty bone. His body was changing, twisting and warping into something unnatural. Slowly but surely, the wizard knew his flesh was transforming into something that was once him. Fire flickered within his palms, alternating between hazy sparks, blazing flame, and nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. He did not know why his palms burned, nor how to quench the flames. He felt that he ought to know. He stank. The colour of his clothing had been rendered unrecognisable by all manner of filth which stained the fabric. What had happened to him? He did not know if the robes he wore were his. He simply knew they felt familiar. The wizard did not know how long he had been sat there. The twitching flames from his palms lent momentary vision to the hellscape around him. Intermittent shadows danced away from the eerie glow. Every now and then he would catch glimpses of a shadow at the edge of the light. The shape twisted and turned into itself every time he gazed upon it. Its form ravaged so that the wizard could not tell what it was. Yet the wizard felt he shared a strange kinship with the distorted form. A faint camaraderie welled up within him before spilling over into the unrecognizable rest of him, the swallowing fog that choked every fibre of his being. The wizard looked away from the grotesque shape which danced on his periphery. His vision wandered back down to his ghoulish hands where flames flickered within his blackened palms. Did they always look like this? Staring into the flames conjured up images within his mind, brief glimpses of a world which seemed lost to him. There were faces there, shapes similar to the one which hounded him. Some he recognised but strangely could not grasp. Idioms and concepts he knew the meaning of were impossible to translate into words. Why can't I remember, the wizard asked no one in particular. The images and brief glimpses began to collapse in on themselves and the wizard desperately grasped at empty air. Words lost their meaning. Objects which he knew were familiar began to take on a different form. He fumbled with his own words, his tongue out of place in his own mouth. Ew. Once again, the shape appeared at the edge of his vision. A garbled mess of language echoed from the shape. The wizard knew it was speaking, but the words it spoke made no sense to him. Fear washed over him as the wizard knew that he did not. Through the panic, a rare moment of clarity suddenly exploded upon him. For a precious few, the fog in his mind receded. He looked back at the shape which hounded him, still distorted but somehow less. He knew this shape. He knew they were here for a reason. 
Still the details eluded him. Why were they here? What were they doing? Steadily and with alarming speed, the wizard felt the fog return. He felt himself sinking. Despair overtook him as he struggled to keep track of his thoughts. Faces melted into each other. Different memories blurred together. Confusion seeped into his mind and the thoughts he so desperately grasped slipped right through his fingers. As reason faded away and he sunk deeper, a single, terrifying thought was left within the wizard's mind. He knew that whatever he had set out to do, he had failed horribly. Jeez, the lusty Argonian maid is very dark. Mod creator, if you're listening, Buzz, if you're out there, uh, can you write a book, please? C can you write? If you write horror material, let me know. You're a phenomenal writer. It's really good. Where do I found the wizard book? I put on my robe and my wizard hat. That story is sticking with me now that I'm lamenting on it. Why is that making no noise? Okay, we're in a chapel. Everything's broken and dilapidated. It's making nice peaceful music. The part about the wizard's mind, like the fog receding away for a split moment and him gaining rationality for a split second before it goes away again. That's fucking, that, that's rough. There's something about that. There's like an allegory. I don't know if it's like an allegory for like mental health issues or whatever, but it reminds me of anxiety a bit where sometimes you'll have these moments of clarity where you know you'll be okay, but then the rough moments happen again. But you know because the fog clears for a brief moment, you know you'll be alright. I don't know, that's just what it reminds me of. And there are better days where the fog lives completely. That's what that just reminds me of. It probably isn't like a, an allegory for mental health stuff, but maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. It stuck with me a lot. There's, <laughs> there's bodies falling into the piss. Shouldn't I be finding the Count? Shouldn't Mazoga the Orc be here being like, are you the Count? And if you say yes, she's like, you're a liar. And if you say no, she's like, fuck off. I like Mazoga. She's cool. Hello, can I pray to this? There is no one there. There's loads of people there. They're all my friends. I love his pose. He's so happy to be falling in. He looks like he's in Portal. Like there's a portal at the top and the bottom. I'm delighted. This is fucking brilliant. It's for all eternity. I'm getting kind of bored now. Okay, well, stop. I'm, I'm, I, I, I want to get off. I want to get I want to stop. Nope. <laughs> this is awful. All eternity. It's eternity a long time. Hi, horsey. That's scary. I don't like that. I like how it's just a broken, glitchy model, but placed into this horror world, it's uh, it's pretty unnerving. It's very effective use of models. Hello, rubies and diamonds. I'll take this. I like Pokemon. <laughs> Hello, everyone's broken. This is terrifying. These are the models that are like under the floor. If you ever do Oblivion's character creator, like if you're in the sewers at the beginning of the game and you look under the prison cell's exterior, you'll see those dead bodies. And I don't like that. I'm creeped out. Everything's floating. It's a broken glitch world. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. So angled perfectly. This is one of the best mods I've ever played. Not even like horror mods, just mods. This is absolutely fantastic. Like sincerely. This is what I love about the videos I make, the mods that I cover. <laughs> the amount of work gone into this is absolutely phenomenal. And I feel bad I didn't play it or show it in the best light at times, but I'm still having an absolute blast. Absolute blast. Can I go to biz? Can I get off your wild ride? Okay, that freaked me out. Just a little bit, just a tiny little, little smidge. <laughs> Alright, are you the final bad Z? Hello! You're the fella! You're the guy! Okay, there's loads of rats everywhere. Uh oh, uh oh. I have plenty of potions of healing. Hello. You have a scare. Look at your model! Oh, look at that. Get him. Oh, did it crash? Uh oh, I it crashed. Oops. All right, it, I think that's the first time it crashed during this video, right? It happens. It happens. Look at his bottle, though. Boy rats, void rats. The void rats are nine me. I know. I know. Why? Why is the game loading with like no music? That's so strange. Hi, Lee. How are you doing? You hanging out? You having a good time? I love all the unique sounds for the enemies and everything. Is this the final showdown? Is this the final countdown? Do I get to go back to Cyrodiil after this? Or am I just doomed to travel this cursed world? Come on, I almost got you. I almost got you, Hillier. I almost got you. Stop healing. There you go, I got you. I put you down. I, 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 I'm, I'm over encumbered. I found Hillier within the twisted confines of his mind and slain him. Is this nightmare finally over? Well, I can't move. I can't wait in this direction either. I'm over and cucumbered. Grace. I have to wait for that to go away. Oh, the cherry music is back on. Do we do it? 
Is that the final showdown? Elir's totem. It's weighing me down, drain speed, 20 points, weakness to fire, 50% for 30 seconds, that's OP. That's ridiculously overpowered, well fuck you shaman staff, you can stay here in this hell world. I'll take your human hairs, as a nice little memento. Haha, you're a skeleton, you're dead, weren't you dead the whole time? I solved your puzzle, I figured you out you bastard. Here's my torch, give me that back. I'm gonna rest an error. Oh, does this teleport me? Strength, I can level up. Not willpower, agility. Wait, speed by five? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm min maxing. Well, I can go back out the door, I think. How many levels do I have? Did I only level up once? Throughout this whole thing, I only leveled up once. I have a really shit class. Well, I do have marksman and sneak, and I barely utilize any of those. So, you know, I'm very good at making classes in this game. Hi, Zor. Are we going back outside? Did we do it? That totem is a very good reward, by the way. Where are we? We're by a river. No, this is a unique area. Did I cleanse the world? Did we do it? There's one standing lone tree. Rebirth. It's peaceful here, isn't it? What is this place? Who knows? It could be whatever you want it to be. I'm not sure if any of this is even real. Does that really matter? It's just a burning memory. Did that potion I take just make me, like, go into a coma or something? And this is all in my head. I, I really hope it doesn't do the whole, it was just a dream thing. Because I don't like that cliche in writing. It's a lazy hook, that's not what they're doing. I have more faith in the mod creation than that, let's be real. Hello. You have a book. Screaming out towards the golden dawn of light. When someone's voice comes from, they can hear us. It's the sound of the person they're hearing. There's someone in here. They should come back. That's there. It's just a normal skeleton with a robe. Oh, he looks very snazzy. Your ferry awaits. Is that my ferry outside? Is it outside here? Where's my boat? Where's my ferry out here? Oh, there it is. Oh. This is like really serene. There's something about this that's really effective. I like this. I just like this, okay? This is cool. It's like Inception. Where's my ferry? Robos. Do I go back to Cyril? Is that it? We're back in the dungeons. That was it. That's the end. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for sticking with me for one of the best mods I've ever played through on this channel. And it was an Oblivion horror mod. I say that a lot about mods, but this is number one for me. This was absolutely fantastic. Please play through this mod yourself, I implore you. It's such a good experience on your own. Settle down, get a cup of tea, close the curtains. Make sure it's lash and rain outside. I had such a great time playing this. It's gonna make for a fantastic video and what a way to start off the horror season with one of the best Oblivion mods there is. I am absolutely chuffed with that. Into the Void, the link will be down below. Please go support the mod creator, endorse their mod, download it, share it around with your friends and everything. I'm lucky at that mod creator's work with great interest going forward. That was absolutely brilliant. Cheers for sticking around everyone. It's been a long enough video. I think it's been like three or four hours overall in terms of footage. It was a long old mod, but it was a very good one throughout the whole thing. It didn't falter at all. It stayed effective throughout. It was so good. So good. This is what it's about and it's getting dawn, the sun's coming up, cheers all of you for watching. I'll see you in some more Elder Scrolls horror mods, and I'll talk to you next time, cheers for hanging out.